Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Gemini. And keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Gemini. So let's see what we have for the sign of Gemini. Okay, let's see what's happening for you. Alrighty. Number 34 with loss, lack, fear of victimization. I don't know if you feel like you've lost something. Number 24, with adjustment, looking back, moving forward. Gemini, you're moving forward here. And number four is also important for you, but you're moving forward here, but you're also kind of looking back on some things that you lost in the past. I'm just telling you not to look back, keep moving forward. Here, you must be very connected to the owl spirit because we have, we actually have three owl spirits here. You see that around you? So we have this idyllic times where we have an owl by the woman. We have this uh, adjustment where we have an owl by the woman. And then we have this this card, which we have another owl. So you're heavily connected with the owl here. All right, number four. So we have number 48 with idyllic times, the garden of paradise. You see, because you're moving towards paradise. Gemini, don't be looking back at what you lost because you're moving towards paradise. All right, so keep moving forward. Number 52, with hidden knowledge, Akashic Records, silent understanding. You're connected with the Akashic Records as well. So you're going to be seeing into the Akashic Records. So you're going to be seeing through people here because you have that knowledge of tapping into Akashic Records here, Gemini. All right? And you may be also be pulling things in that is due to you here from the Akashic Records, which may be paradise. All right? Look at this. We have number nine with tenderness, true love, compassion. All right? Look, there's something here making you tender. All right? We have Divine Masculine, so it can be your Divine Masculine coming in to make you all tender. We have number eight, so fours and eights, Electric Active Power. Gemini, this usually represents the God of Sirius here that you're connecting with. Alright? So now have a look at your Idyllic Times, and then your Divine Masculine here. So we have number eight and forty-eight. See, I told you, eights and fours. All right, so we have Divine Masculine. This is the card of Assyrius, all right? It says, Master of Resurrection, he heralds a time of active, creative energy in your life. He fuses his own inner life with the powerful and eternal vibration of universal consciousness, being newly empowered in every cell and every thought. The hawk that sits on his shoulders has a strong life force, an intense energy. This card indicates that you are entering the field of expansion energy at this time. In flight, the hawk has great vision and the ability to communicate with the spirit of creation. And this is an important message for you. You are moving into a time of great creative and productive energy. So let yourself consider what project or activity is calling to your soul, whether it's a new business, a novel, or work of art. Now is the time to focus on this type of endeavor. Your own resonance vibrates with the absolutely electric connection with universal inspiration and accelerated action. In fact, you may emerge from this time feeling not only reinvigorated, but reinvented. On a personal level, this card could signify an approaching relationship with a man. It may be a new romance, or it could be a strong friendship or business connection. This man brings fresh ideas and dynamic energy into your life. So be conscious of any new opportunities. So remember, as you receive the guidance and support, always to maintain your creative intention and listen to your own intuitive voice here's an affirmation Gemini. it says as i connect with the creative force in my universe my own creativity expands and thrives and then we have number 48 which we're going to go read for you because it has an affirmation here it says an owl blesses the priestess of the garden as she holds a butterfly in her hands this pretends a time of great peace and joy coming your way it may be an unexpected blessing of the long-awaited result of an extensive effort on your part. All right, Gemini? So there may be something that you're creating here that you've been working on for a long time that you may be getting your reward for here. Okay? It says, The butterfly reminds us of the gentle power that becomes something completely new through the process of metamorphosis. As a caterpillar changes through an internal alchemical process, it experiences intense pressure and difficulty. In a time, it emerges from its cocoon as a winged butterfly, having forged, 
forged the strength to travel thousands of miles in its migration. Similarly, the hardships that you've gone through have brought you great value and inner strength, transforming your life and carrying you to a new reality of pleasant experiences and peaceful surroundings. So get ready for the idyllic times ahead. Let yourself relax and appreciate the peace and beauty coming to your life. On a purely practical level, this card could be foretelling an upcoming trip, even a move to a picturesque and lush environment, one that may seem like a paradise to you. This bodes well for your energy in your future. Even if you can't go on a vacation or make a move now, you can create ideas of peace and happiness in your daily life. Surround yourself with the beauty of nature, the trees, the flowers, birds, and animals that are ever-present blessings from the universe. Know that every moment you stop to relax and appreciate your natural world, you bring an idyllic time to your life. After all, paradise is always there, should you choose to experience it. Here's an affirmation. I open my life to experiencing the wonders of nature all around me. Beauty and peace fill my life in many delightful ways. All right, Gemini. So, those are the messages for you. That's all I have for you. Those are the spirits you're connecting with. You have the series here. You have the owls quite heavily. And that is all I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye, guys.